Hi, my name's Kerry Badham and I'm delighted to show you today the brand new cycling and cycling accessory set. They're two separate sets. The first one is the bicycle cutter, which has two cutters. And then the second set is the accessories. So you have the cycling hat, cycling glove, the mini cycle, cycling top, and the cycling water bottle. They're a fantastic size, they fit really nicely on top of a cupcake, but I've also used them in addition on the cake. This is the cake I've made to demonstrate the cycling set. We have the topper up here, which I've allowed to dry for 24 hours, and then I've used the lollipops with the finish line as a support. And as you come down the cake, you can see that I've used these just as accessories on the cake on the bunting. So we have the cycling top and the glove. We have a mini bike. And around here, we have a water bottle. Around here, I've just used the cycling wheel. So overall, it's a fun cake. I've put this along the lines of the London to Brighton bike ride, which many people do. It's a fantastic set. You can use them for any bike enthusiast or for your cycling club. You can change the colours to match what your cycling club is. So it's a very versatile little set. The paste we recommend you use is modelling paste. You can buy modelling paste or you can make it yourself. I prefer to make it myself. It's nice and simple. So you add a little bit of Tylo to your workspace. This one is a rainbow dust tilo, but you can use CMC or gum trap. They all work in the same way. And then you knead your fondant into the powder. And as you're kneading it in, you will start to feel your paste firm up and it will become not as sticky as it was. And the reason why we use a modeling paste is because it's very easy to maneuver around without damaging. It firms it. It dries it out a little, so it won't get stuck in your cutter. So what we would do now is we would wrap that up in some clean film and pop it in an airtight container and leave it for at least 30 minutes. Different colours can work differently. Sometimes you need a little bit more. If you know you're going to be making some decorations the following day, it's worth doing it the, the night before as well. If you want to, you can make it up in batches, so a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams of fondant, but I like to make mine up as I go along. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the cycle cutter. So this is my modeling paste, it's not very thick. I've rolled it out and I've allowed it to sit for a while. And as you can see, modeling paste is so easy to handle without damage, doesn't tear so easily. So place that on my nonstick mat pop the cutter on top and apply pressure all the way around you don't want your paste too thick because it will stick in the cutter so cut through you can feel your work mat underneath helps prevent frayed edges I quite like to turn mine over and then you can just use a brush just to pop these bits through. Now there's some little points here that you can use to push out. But if you have a problem with getting them through, and if you need to, you can just use a small tool. Very gently. See, as you can see coming out. I could probably tap this on the side but I just want to show you how to remove this if you do have a problem with it sticking and what you want to do is you want to go from each edge and work your way back into the middle so you don't stretch or pull it. The pedal's a small point that you want to be pulling it out from. Easing it out gently because you don't want to break the pedal and then you just move up as you can see, using modelling paste, it comes out really nice. Now, this is the frame for where you'll put the wheel. And you'll notice we have one long arm here. And the reason why we did this is because there's many different styles of 
cycles out there of bikes. Some people have them so the bars are curved. Some people have them so they curve back. Some people have them so they come out. So you could reduce that and so they come out. So if you're standing it on top of the cake, it can look like the handlebars coming out. So this has been left entirely for you to design the kind of cycle the person you're making the cake for rides. I'm now going to demonstrate how to cut out the wheel. Obviously, there's one cutter, but you do need two. I'm going to demonstrate how to do one of them. So place it on my paste and move it around my work mat, just the same as before. Make sure your paste isn't too thick and not too sticky. And just as before, I've allowed it to dry out. Now, I'm going to go over with the back of my hand to make sure I get all the little sections out so we can make some little spokes. So here we go, one at a time. Pop them through. Nice and easy. Now, on the opposite side, you can see here, you've got some spokes, so you can push your paste out there. But again, if you do have a problem, you can gently ease with a tool. But as you can see, if you make the right medium of paste, there'll be no problem. You just gently ease it out. So you will make one wheel for here and the second one for there. And what I've done to allow mine so it doesn't flop over, allow them to dry off completely. And then that way the wheel will sit up instead of flopping down each side. But allow it to dry off completely. I've allowed mine to dry for 24 hours and overnight to make the topper, which you saw demonstrated on top of the cake. I'm now going to demonstrate how to make the cycling accessories. Over here on the cake, that I showed you earlier, you can see some of the accessories. And here I've cut them out in white and I've painted them and just added some little edging on them, which is a really nice effect. But you can also build them up in layers and that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you how to make a two-tone cycling hat. So I've chose two colors, the orange and the blue. I think they look very nice together. So I place this on top just like the other tab bits, and I would move it around my mat. So this is a modeling paste, as before, not too thick, allowed to sit for a little while so it's not too sticky. And as you can see here, we've cut it out. So it's sliding it around the mat, prevents any frayed edges. And then I'm just going to remove these sections. And pop that out. So I want to build the layers up so we have a two-tone effect hat. So this time I'm going to pop this on and all we really want to do is get the pressure on the outside of the cutter. So again I'm going to go around the edge being careful on the middle like this, pop it out And then I'm going to place that on top. See, that will look really nice on a cupcake. But to attach it, I just use a little bit of water. Activates the Tylo powder in the modeling paste and makes it an edible glue. So nice and easy. And there you have a cycling hat. I'm now going to demonstrate the small bike. Now this is a very intricate, detailed design. So it's a little bit harder to remove from the set, but it's very, very nice when it's sitting on a cupcake. So I've rolled out my paste and I rolled it quite fine. And you want to allow this to sit for a good long time so it is nice and dry on top and not too sticky. So we place it on top, just as before. And then we slide it round our mat, applying all the pressure all the way round. So we come around 
the set and then I'm going to remove these inner sections. Now around here we've got the, the spoke design and we want that included so we need to be very careful that we don't apply too much pressure here where the bike frame is or the pedal. So it's quite nice, this has got a little rubber edge. So I'm just going to go over the spokes here with it. Make sure we get the design in. Just the same, we've got the long handle, so you can do it at whatever design of uh, sorry, cycle you want to use. Alright, so if we turn it over, as you can see, they're quite fine spaces to try and fit this through. But you can give a little push in places. And the one place that you want to try to focus on is the pedal. If that does come off, you can stick it on after. So I'm gently going to ease this out because it is worth having one of these on your cupcakes or a mini, cake, mini bike on your cake. So nice and easy. Be patient. We can pop it out. And here you have your mini bicycle. We do hope you like our brand new product. The cake we showed you earlier has all FMM products on it. We've used the fluffy clouds and we've used the essential shapes for some smaller bunting, as well as the bike and cycle accessory set. Thank you for watching.